Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Today our video is about ultrasound of superficial soft tissue masses. Introduction. Ultrasonography is an excellent imaging method in the evaluation of a palpable superficial soft tissue mass. The advantages of ultrasound include high spatial resolution capabilities, portability, easy access, low cost, comparison with the contralateral side, Doppler ultrasound, and the ability to combine physical examination findings and the patient history during ultrasound examination. Additionally, real-time imaging allows manual compression, extremity movement, muscle contraction, and direct patient interaction during ultrasound scanning. Superficial lesions are ideally imaged with ultrasound, especially when they are small. The ultrasound diagnosis of a soft tissue mass is uncommonly changed with subsequent MRI evaluation. One disadvantage of ultrasound is when disease is in deeper soft tissue. In these situations, image resolution is reduced and ancillary information concerning the mass such as physical examination findings and history may be ambiguous. This video reviews common superficial soft tissue masses and provides illustrative examples and recommendations for their management based on ultrasound findings. Imaging Evaluation When presented with a soft tissue mass using ultrasound, the initial assessment determines if the mass is superficial, cutaneous or subcutaneous, or deep to subcutaneous tissues. If superficial, there is a group of common abnormalities that have basognomonic or characteristic features enabling a confident diagnosis. If the abnormality is not specific for a benign diagnosis or has atypical or suspicious clinical or ultrasound features, particularly if solid and hypoechoic, possible recommendations include interval follow-up ultrasound, additional imaging, such as MRI with intravenous contrast material, biopsy, or surgical consultation. Effective communication between the radiologist and clinical services is critical to ensure recommendations are conveyed accurately. Superficial masses include A. Reliably benign masses B. Pseudo masses C. Lymphadenopathy D. Non-specific neoplastic masses A. Reliably benign masses include number 1. Lipoma 2. Epidermal inclusion cyst 3. Fat necrosis 4. Peripheral nerve sheath tumor 5. Vascular tumors and malformations, 6. Ganglion. Number 1. Lipoma. Background. Lipomas are the most common soft tissue tumors and typically manifest as slowly enlarging soft mobile masses. Pathologically, they are composed of mature adipocytes with uniform nuclei that are identical to those seen in normal fat. The fat may contain a few small capillaries within thin fibrous septi. A thin fibrous pseudocapsule, when present, separates lipomas from surrounding tissues. Lipomas are benign, with no malignant potential, and usually occur in subcutaneous tissues, virtually anywhere in the body. However, lipomas also can be in deeper tissue, can be intra- or intermuscular and can affect a wide age range. Ultrasound findings Lipomas may be hyper, iso, or hypoechoic when compared with adjacent subcutaneous tissues with a uniform echotexture. Pure fat is anechoic, so echogenicity depends on the presence of connective tissue and other reflective interfaces in the lipoma. Additionally, 
Lipomas tend to be compressible. According to Wagner EL, 26% are hyperechoic, 59% isoechoic, and 15% hypoechoic. Gently curved echogenic lines parallel to the skin surface are a characteristic feature of lipomas, seen in up to 89% of cases, and represent fibrous septi. There is typically no detectable internal blood flow on Doppler ultrasound images. Uncommonly, minimal flow may be identified within a septum. Differential diagnosis Number 1. Asymmetric fat deposition Non-neoplastic, which can be distinguished from lipomas by leg of a pseudocapsule. Number 2. A variant of a lipoma is an angiolipoma, which tend to be more hyperechoic, heterogeneous, and vascular, and is more likely to be painful. Angiolipomas are also more likely to be multiple, seen in 70% of cases, and commonly occur in a subcutaneous location near the elbow. Differentiation is not critical since angiolipomas also have a benign clinical course. Number 3, a slow flow vascular malformation, which may also contain fat. However, the presence of dilated vascular channels, follicles, and doppler flow allow differentiation from lipoma. Number 4, although atypical lipomatous tumors are more common in deeper locations, may be more hyperechoic and they may have more detectable flow, they can sometimes simulate a benign lipoma. Summary An oval, compressible iso to hyperechoic soft tissue mass with linear or gently curvilinear reflectors and no or minimal septal vascularity is a characteristic finding of a lipoma.